What would you say your biggest challenge is like going into a space where right it's like new for all of us this post COVID-19 life and so mm -hmm. the good thing is it sounds like you have some signals in the market of, of products that will seem to land quite well for right. sure but what is your second any any big challenges other than that yeah you know like you said from the very beginning is just still the messaging because I cannot say sanitizer so I have to say hand cleanser legally mm -hmm. so it's the, still getting that clear to you know maybe a 25% of the general public get it, but like the rest don't. So that's, that's gonna be a major challenge. And I'm actually really excited about that challenge because I love nothing more than replacing toxins with something good for you and getting people to have that aha moment where I think they'll have that aha moment faster with this on their hands when their hands aren't dry and they feel safe using it. So I wanna make sure that they feel safe using it without that like stamp of the CDC just doing your own, if you do your own research online, you will feel safe, but you've got to get it there, right? So in, in closing, I just want to ask you, what advice would you give any entrepreneur who's in COVID-19? Maybe they got laid off, right? Maybe, maybe it feels like doomsday, but maybe they've always had that itch. What sure. advice would you give? I think right now is when, if you've got laid off and you've had an idea, determination and getting up and really making that come to life right now, you have an opportunity because you know, there's been a lot of shifts. You've seen it in the fashion industry. There's ways to be successful and there's ways to still come out right now. You know, you just gotta not, you're not watching Netflix all day. You gotta figure it out. <laughs>